Hi, my name is Marisa. I'm a photographer and educator. I make portraits and I'm particularly interested in how we tell stories and communicate through photographic portraits and how photographs can encourage exchange. This is a black and white photographic portrait of Beatrix Potter, taken by Charles G. Y. King in May 1913. It comes from the National Portrait Gallery's collection. Beatrix Potter was born in London in 1866. She was a children's writer and illustrator. She was also a sheep breeder and worked to protect wildlife and the environment. Have a look at Potter's pose as she sits with her dog. What details can you see in this photograph? What is she surrounded by? Is she in her own garden? Why has she chosen to sit there? What might her location tell us about her interests? Potter looks very relaxed and at ease. One hand rests on her knee, the other seems to be on the dog's back. Potter and her dog are both looking directly into the camera. Have you ever managed to take a photograph of an animal while they look at the camera? We could call this photograph a snapshot as it has a very relaxed feel and doesn't feel too posed. Beatrix Potter had a lonely childhood, growing up mostly in isolation. She was looked after by a nanny and taught by a governess, women who were employed to teach children in their homes. She found comfort through many hours of observational painting and drawing. Do you make drawings by looking and observing objects or people? Or do you use your imagination? During family weekends away and long summer holidays to the countryside, Beatrix and her brother became fascinated with observing the nature they discovered in new surroundings. She made drawings and recorded details of the birds and animals around her. Later, during trips to the Lake District, she became interested in mushrooms, fossil hunting and photography. The mushroom drawings you can see here are in the Armit Museum and Library in Ambleside, Cumbria. Beatrix Potter's children's stories and illustrations began as letters to the children of a previous governess. The wonderful characters of her tales, including Peter Rabbit, Squirrel Nutkin, Jemima Puddle Duck and Tom Kitten became world famous. In 1905, Beatrix bought Hilltop Farm in the Lake District with the profits from her books. She began to farm sheep and continued to write and illustrate children's books. Beatrix became a passionate campaigner on local conservation issues to protect natural resources, wildlife and preserve culture. She's been credited with preserving much of the land that is now the Lake District National Park. For this activity, you'll need a few sheets of A4 paper, coloured or white, and coloured pencils or pens. Inspired by Beatrix Potter's love of the natural environment and wildlife, we are going to listen to some sounds of the countryside, close our eyes and make drawings inspired by what we hear. Let the sounds guide you as you make lines and marks on your paper. Firstly, close your eyes and listen to the sounds and imagine where you might be and what you are hearing and seeing. What is the weather like? What can you smell? What can you see? You can rewind these sounds as many times as you'd like. I hope you've enjoyed this activity today. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.